All right, what's going on everybody? Broken Games HDR here, and I'm gonna give you my impressions for Control. Control is Remedy's latest title to be released. And I've played about two and a half hours of Control. I think the game is about 10 to 12 hours. So I'm still relatively uh, at the beginning. So when I play Control, I, I get different vibes and, and pick up on different elements from other games. For example, uh, very early on, I get the Max Payne uh, introspective narration vibe. That's um, something that's carried on throughout a lot uh, throughout a lot of Remedies games, right? But it definitely gives me gives me that Max Payne uh, vibe when sh when Jesse, the main character, speaks, and you know she's kind of speaking out loud to herself, and it gives you kind of like a dive into what her thoughts are, are and what's going inside of her mind. Also, the most obvious thing, it has Quantum Break sci-fi theme and a few gameplay elements um, from, from Quantum Break. Um, I, I definitely sense uh, Alan Wake um, somewhat in like the, the darkness and also a little bit of, I would say, Dead Space. Uh, sim I would say Dead Space and a little bit of the gameplay, mainly the telekinesis, uh, the enemies also, and just a little bit of the gameplay mechanics. So yeah, I sense a little bit of Max Payne, um, Alan Wake, Dead Space, and Quantum Break. Not saying all that is, you know, like the Dead Space is, is, is something that they did on purpose, but all of Remedy's games do seem to have uh, striking similarities uh, to the previous games they they make they don't stray off too far right so the story is is this very strange mysterious plot with a lot of paranormal uh, elements to it uh, I'm still early on as I said so I can't really really make a decision as to do I think this is a bad or a good story story yet it seems okay to me so far but I definitely got to get deeper to give any type of criticism or judgment of the story one thing i do want to talk about that i really hate when that games do even though it does add a like a subplot and more layers to the game as far as the story goes is picking up documents and journals some of you have heard me talk about this uh before i think you know using documents and and, and journals and all this reading material in the game to add more layers to the plot is a little bit antiquated. And not only that, it kind of messes up the flow and the rhythm of the game. And but because, because this game does have a lot of documents for you to pick up, but it can really mess up the flow and the pacing if every few feet you move, there's another document for you to pick up, another document for you to, for you to read. So it really kind of messes up the pacing. And, and to be honest, I don't want to sit there reading this doc, so many documents, right? So I, I do feel games have to figure out a better way uh, to tell a, a, a secondary story or, or the subplot or add lore to the story. Because it does, it does add lore. It adds, adds more interesting details to the game. But they got to find a better way to do it. Another way this game does that, actually, that I like is and many other games do this is the you can you have the option it's not mandatory you have the option to inquire with the npcs uh about any questions that you may have uh, elements of the game uh that may not necessarily be directly explained in the story and this game does that and i think that's kind of the better way or at least just tone down the amount of of documents in the game that you have to have to read uh, and, and sit and sit through to understand more of what's going on. But you know that's my the, my main gripe so far. Uh, moving on to a little bit of the gameplay. So so far from what I experienced, you know the combat is, is is pretty basic, not not in a bad way, but it's it's straightforward. You got your shooting, your melee, and of course you unlock more abilities as you get as you move and progress through the story telekinesis is the first ability you unlock in the game i assume you unlock more as you progress i don't know that for sure but i assume uh that you do your even your gun is not a normal gun it doesn't use normal physical bullets i believe in the game it's they actually refer to the your primary weapon as an object of power if i'm not mistaken 
uh, either way, it's a it's a gun with you know paranormal uh, elements to it. So it doesn't use physical bullets, and it pretty much has a cooldown, and the bullets pretty much regenerate. Um, and you can add buffs to your primary weapon. You can add buffs and effects to your character. There's different. There's a few different enemy types that you will run into. Um, the main enemy in general is called the Hiss, though. Uh, I'm not sure exactly how I feel about that. I'm not sure that's the most creative term to come up with uh, to call these enemies, but I guess it's serviceable. The only gameplay problem I really run into is sometimes when I hit the crouch button, which is R3, it doesn't read my input, so it doesn't crouch when I try to get behind cover. Um, and there's like a little bit, little bit of a delay uh, when you press the crouch button if you want to crouch and then go uncrouch it's a little bit of a delay and also for example if you're in crouch and you sh you aim your gun uh you automatically come out of crouch and it doesn't go back to crouch you know so that could be kind of annoying if i'm um just taking cover and i'm shooting an enemy i would like it to go aut automatically back into crouch so i can take cover but it doesn't do that so you have to manually go into crouch every single time after shooting but that's the, like i said that's the only gameplay problem that i've really run it run into uh the gameplay for me so far is uh pretty fun and and the pacing is good uh it, it's it does seem like they're you know they do they're doing a good job to keep it from being just a shooting gallery uh by adding um all the you know the story elements and everything like that uh speaking on the visuals the game the game does look good i am playing on pc uh, mainly at 1440p. I can I can run it at 4K, but there are some unstable areas in the game where if you run it at 4K, even if you run it at 1440p, the frames drop significantly. They are using this Northlight engine. This is their newer engine that specializes in global illumination, particle effects, lighting, and shadows, which we all can see is highly utilized in this game. And we know this game... Uh, boast about it boast about its RTX implementation to me RTX is uh, something that's kind of overrated I don't think it's worth uh, the taxation that it does to your uh, to your rig and and into the into the performance and the frame rate I honestly don't think it's worth it right for for better light it's essentially better lighting but I don't think it's equal to what it demands right so but that's that's just my opinion um, so I'm not I'm not playing with RTX on. Um, the destruction in physics is, is really is really nice when there's more destruction in physics, like like in most games, it does af affect the frame rate. And I do think that th this game shouldn't be as demanding as it is. I don't actually think it's it, it is as demanding as it is. I just think it needs a little bit more uh, optimization because, for example, there's been times when I've been in one area and i'm above 100 frames and then i move as soon as i move to the next area and not much has changed it may drop down to 40 frames so that's not normal you know that's a little that's inconsistent frame rate and frame pacing so that's definitely something i believe they have to patch uh, i like the sound effects it has pretty uh, robust sound design the map is a little bit useless in this game i think it's a poorly designed map it doesn't really help you find where you need to go as much uh, you actually, it, it's you'll actually have an easier time reading the signs um, placed around the game to find where you need to go, rather than using the, using the actual in-game map. Uh, and the animation, uh, just the animation from Remedy Games hasn't really evolved that much. It gets a little bit and slightly better each game. But I, I still think they haven't taken that huge jump in animation, and I think that's you know we we've talked about why, and they've they, you know they've explained why you know it's the limited number of animation a animators they have in their studio and the studio size and everything like that, um, and I think they can be taken to the next level. Y'all know exactly how um, I've been rooting for it to happen, and I think something like that. Uh, something like that happening, you know, Sony buying them, but, you know, we'll take them to the next level, but that's another story I don't really want to get into right now. That's a whole other video. Uh, but, but so far, overall, this game is good, but it's kind of par for the course for a Remedy game, because one thing I'll, I, I will say about Remedy, and a lot of people have said about Remedy games, uh, is their titles, 
they're, they're, at least their last three titles, that's including Control, have been good. They've always produced solid titles, but nothing amazing, right? Probably the last game they've made was uh, Max Payne, and that was back in the early 2000s, right? So I think there, there's a certain catalyst that can happen that will, uh, that will push them, that will catapult them to being, to being able to make amazing games. I don't re really think they're at that point where they can because this is just another like game that's kind of par for the course of of what we've seen from Remedy as far as like the quality and and the scale. Once again, not bad. The game is not bad whatsoever, but it's not amazing. It's always kind of like that middling between good and great, but not near amazing. But so far, I'm enjoying the game. The story is a little bit weird. Got to dive deeper into it to un to fully uh, understand what's going on the gameplay is fun and it's a pretty definitely a pretty game uh to look at and it is similar to the art style that remedy has used used in previous games so yeah let me that those are my uh, first impressions let me know what y'all think about control so far if you played it make sure you hit the like button follow me on twitch twitter mixer all the links in the description and i will make a review when i am done beating the game Thank all of you for watching. I'll catch y'all next time. Peace.